Ever wondered what the political landscape would look like if satire met reality? From J.D. Vance's sinking reputation to Kamala Harris's fictional dystopian presidency, we've got it all covered. Stay tuned as we dive into the latest controversies shaking up the political world. First up, Trump's VP pick, J.D. Vance, is facing a wave of criticism. Described as a dumpy couch potato by his detractors, Vance is quickly losing favor. Trump must be regretting his choice, especially after Vance's sexist comments calling Kamala Harris a childless cat lady sparked outrage. Celebrity backlash, including from Jennifer Aniston, has only added to his woes. Social media exploded with reactions. Fans and critics alike have slammed Vance for his offensive remarks, further tarnishing his image. The question now is, can he recover from this PR disaster, or will he continue to deflate like a whoopee cushion in the West Wing? Switching gears to sports, the Euro 2024 semi-final between Netherlands and England ended in high drama. England's victory was marred by controversial decisions, leading to a heated reaction from Dutch captain Virgil van Dijk. After a contentious penalty call and a disputed goal, van Dijk didn't hold back his frustration with referee Felix Zoyer. In a post-match tirade, Van Dyke called for referees to be held accountable for their decisions. It says it all that the referee went in quite quickly after the game and had no time to shake his hand, he remarked, highlighting the need for greater transparency and responsibility from match officials. Now, let's take a satirical journey into a fictional future where Kamala Harris becomes president in 2025. Imagine her stepping onto the balcony of the renamed USK Apatow building, strutting in a revenge red pantsuit. Her presidency is a whirlwind of dramatic changes, from unleashing the IRS on Trump's grandchildren to appointing Dr. Dre as Surgeon General. In her historic address, Harris speaks to a small, bike-riding crowd, emphasizing the unity and strength of the nation. Her surreal speech leaves everyone in attendance and watching at home both puzzled and amused. But in this dystopian scenario, nothing is as it seems. Meanwhile, in the world of entertainment, Billy Ray Cyrus finds himself in hot water after an abusive rant targeting the women in his life surfaced. Calling his third wife Fire Rose a selfish and labeling his daughters Miley and Noah with derogatory terms, Billy Ray's image has taken a significant hit. Insiders say this could be the final straw for Miley, who is reportedly cutting ties with her father. In sports news, the Paris Olympics have lifted the prudish intimacy ban from Tokyo 2020, distributing 300,000 condoms to athletes. Despite mocking the recyclable beds, British diver Tom Daly proved they can withstand a lot of action. On the flip side, athletes like Jack Laffer are turning to OnlyFans to supplement their income, sparking debates on the impact of such platforms on the perception of Olympic grit and determination. Over in the Hamptons, J-Lo celebrated her birthday with a Bridgerton-themed bash, channeling Queen Charlotte. Notably absent was her estranged husband, Ben Affleck. Insiders speculate that next year, J-Lo might need to switch her venue to something more up Ben's alley, like Fenway Park with Hooters Wings. Finally, elusive former First Lady Melania Trump has been busy writing her memoir, cleverly titled Melania. Although a release date is yet to be announced, anticipation is building for the revelations she might share. That's a wrap for today's video. From political dramas to sporting controversies and celebrity scandals, we've covered it all. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. This is AU News, bringing you the latest in the world of politics, sports, and entertainment.